How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Cody in the Smogon underused tier from the Discord server. Looking at his team, he's got a Hydrapple, Ampharos, Iron Crown, Alolan Muk, Ursa Luna, and a Mienxia. Powerful stuff. That Ursa Luna is going to be a threat, that's for sure. Are we? Sen am I sensing like a Trick Room thing going on here with the Iron Crown? Does Iron Crown get Trick Room? Because it looks kind of like a Trick Room team in a way. Uh, in a weird way, so I'm, I'm, I'm expecting great stuff from Cody, by the way, because Cody's a brilliant baller. Or always have a good time. So, uh, if you are finding yourself enjoying the video, of course, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. Want to waste 20k by the end of the year? I'd love for you to be a part of that journey. So, let's lead off with the Alola Nine Tails right off the bat, just to get that um, Aurora Veil up to support the uh, Glalie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Glalie, right? And we've also got a pretty cool Blastoise set, and then we've got some Psychic Surge shenanigans with the Indeedee and the Armor Rouge. So, uh, let's, let's go with that. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Cody. So, they're going to lead off with Muck, which is a very good lead against my Alone and Ninetales. They probably figured we would lead with Ninetales or something along those lines. So, I am leaning to believe that I can live a gunk shot from this thing um, under the Aurora Veil, thanks to the defense boost from the um, snow, so I'm gonna go for the Aurora Veil anyway. There we go, Aurora Veil comes through, and now unless they're Brick Break on the Alolan Muck, which I guess they could be, um, which they might be, knockoffs. They're gonna knock off a Likely, so next time we get the Aurora Veil up, it's not up to stay, that's for sure. So, uh, Likely comes through and gets knocked off, so our best switch here is probably gonna be the Don Fan. Um, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't see any reason not to. They may switch out their Al Alolan Muck right now, predicting the Don Fan. Um, to be fair, their team, other than that, I think the Hydra is the best thing they have for the Don Fan, so I'm not too worried. So we withdraw our Alolan Ninetales. We're going to go straight into Don Fan to take a potential Gunk Shot or Poison Jab right now. Uh, we're going to Michelin with a Cat Fly because I butchered the nickname. They do go for a Poison Jab, which isn't very effective on our Don Fan. Uh, it may poison them, but we do get some Rocky Helmet Chip, which is always nice. So if we assume they're going to go into the Hydra Apple here, we should go for a, a Stealth Rock because I'm looking at the team and they don't actually have a hazard clearer so stealth rocks are going to be really important in this game they do withdraw the muck as you would expect and they're probably going to go to the hydrapple uh ursa luna comes in that's also a pokemon that can take advantage of the dom a little bit it can definitely take hits for days and we get the stealth rocks up though if we'd have gone for a knockoff there on the switch in that would have been bad because they're probably flame orb on this thing um as we don't see a flame orb so i'm i'm intrigued i am intrigued Let's go for the knockoff and get rid of his item because we are faster. So we can get rid of like a potential choice band, the leftovers. And they're going to go for a swords dance. Okay, this thing just took a 180. This is a deadly Pokemon right now. A very deadly Pokemon right now. Um, we kind of have to switch and what's our best switch in nothing really. Let's go for an EQ. We outspeed, we can get some damage off. Um, it's always going to be useful. Doesn't look like they have hazard setters on their team either. So we should be all right with our Don fan. Um, just to get some chip damage off and then it's a little... Ooh, that Drain Punch did nothing, though. That did nothing to Don Fan. Don, he's got no, no health back, and the Rocky Helmet does more than the, can, with, with, they can get back from the Drain Punch. So that's great. And um, they got no left of the recovery. We just go for another Earthquake here. I don't see any reason not to. They kind of have to go into Hydrapple, I'd say. So they do withdraw the Alert Saloon, and they realize they're banging the head against the wall a little bit with that. Aurora Veil makes Don Fan way too bulky as Hydrapple does come in. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. We go for an EQ on the Hydrapple on the switch in, like so. It's gonna do no damage, but chip is chip at the end of the day, and I know it can just regenerate it off, that's fine. They also reveal they are leftovers as well, so leftovers on the Hydrapple and the Ursa Luna, that's good to know. And um, so no boots, no boots, no boots that are on fire. And um, what's our best switch in here? I'd say alone in nine tails, personally. It can take a Giga Drain, that's for sure, and it can you can reply with a freeze dry. Or we can go into Glalie. Glalie's also an option. They may underestimate Glalie a bit, to be fair. So I think Glalie could be a good Pokemon to go into, personally. I think I will go with the Glalie switch, because Glalie has a respectable... Like, it's base 80 across the board. So that means its HP defenses are, you know, decent. Not, not the worst in the world. They do go for Giga Drain. Does no damage, thanks to our natural bulk and the Aurora Veil, which is great. As now they basically have to switch out into something to take an Icicle Crash, which I'm assuming would be the um, Iron Crown. Or they Terra. One of the two. They Terra Steel. I could take the opportunity because nothing really appreciates a Switcheroo here. Clearly outspeeds the majority of the team as well. So I think we go for a Switcheroo here. They withdraw the Hydrapple. What are they going to go into though to take a hit? Are they going to do the Iron Crown? Mien Shout. 
So Mian Chao may actually be choice scarfed in itself, um, which would be great if it is, because it means we keep our, our, our choice scarf to switch a route to something else later if we get rid of the Hydra, uh, the Mian Chao. So we switch them a choice scarf and we get a assault vest interesting set so our aura veil does wear off which is unfortunate and um, but we can go back into nine tails now or don fan i'm leaning towards the don fan if they're assault vest i'm guessing they're regenerator they've got a bit of a regenerator core with me and Xiao and the hydra apple which is pretty cool and um, so i'm leaning towards the i am a load of the nine tails i'm leaning towards it i think i will go into it i think it's the best thing to go into so we'll withdraw frozone the glalie and we will go into our kushel the nine tails a load of the nine tails like so, get the snow up, which is going to boost our defense, which is great. And they go for a U-turn. So I, I guess I could have gone Don Fan there, just get some Rocky Helmet chip. But at the same time, they just regenerator it off, so it's not a big deal. And that'll just left us open to like the Hydra Apple to come back in. Whereas I think they're more limited with what they can do here. They probably go Iron Crown, if anything. Yeah, Iron Crown comes in. So that thing is a threat. That thing is a threat, but I, I can't really stay in an Aurora Veil against this thing. They are booster energy, probably in speed, right? Yeah, speed. So speed was heightened. So they outspeed us. So we have to switch out here. I'm, I'm leaning towards the Ndidi to get the psychic terrain up for the Armor Rouge. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to go Ndidi. I think Armor Rouge um, does actually put in a lot of work against their team. You know, outside of the Alolan Muk. So I'm going to go into the Butler, like so. Get the Psychic Surge up, which is going to benefit them. Yes, they may have Expanding Force, but they won't use it against an Ndidi. They go for that Tachyon Cutter, which is going to two shot us. So now one more time. Well, I say two shot us. Three shot us or four shot us, whatever you want to say. So now they more than likely go for a Psychic type move. I am leaning towards the Armor Rouge switch. So I'm going to go for the Armor Rouge switch right now because they, they, I don't want them to take out my Ndidi just yet, especially when we have a switch in, in Armor Rouge. So we're going to hashtag Arm Cannon. Who remembers that meme from the X and Y days? It was Arm Cannons, but because Armor Rouge only has one Arm Cannon. It's like, I'm cannon. Anyway, they go for a Calm Mind, which is deadly. Very deadly right now. Um, we can go for an Armor Cannon. I feel pretty safe going for it. Um, because they, can't, they haven't really got much to hit us with. And we can take anything that, like, non-stab. Non so they're going to withdraw the Iron Crown. Are they going to go into the Alolan Muk? That's the real question. They do go into Muk the Gourmet. That is the Alolan Muk. So that's nice and shiny as well, which you've got to love. Get some Stealth Rock Chip, which could be really important here. Armor Cannon comes through, and that is a clean... Bom, bom, bom. Is that a two-shot from there? Is that a two-shot from there? I want to say it is, but I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it. I say a little of the Nine Tails into Aurora Veil. I think they go for a knockoff here. I think we could go Don Fan as well. I think the Rocky Helmet chip is going to be important. And they could predict the Ninetales to come in right now. Because it's already had its item knocked off. So it makes it the perfect Pokemon to switch in. Except from the fact that the Alolan Mook's a poison type. So. They do go for a knockoff. So they knock off our Rocky Helmet. Which is unfortunate. But that does provide some really valuable data for us. So Armor Rouge outspeeds their entire team. Except for Mian Chao. Right? So what do they do here? Do they go into the Ursa Luna? Or do they go into the Hydrapple? I'm leaning towards the Hydrapple switch. So I'm going to go for a knockoff here. Because I think the Hydrapple does come in. They actually stay in to get knocked off. Which is fine. We knock off their Assault Vest. And they go for a Drain Punch. Which is going to do a bit of damage. Not too much. Um, and that is going to recover some of their HP. But I'm leaning... I'm still... I, I, I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. There's no reason not to. They go for a Drain Punch. Again, the, and we must have been at a Speed Tie or something. Because we outsped the first turn. Which is fair enough. If, if we're at a Speed Tie or a Speed Tie. And we go for... Oh, they get the Poison Touch. That could be clutch for the Don, uh, for them against the Don fan. So, we do get the KO on the Alolan Muk. Which is great. Which means the Armor Rouge is now a big threat to their team. Um, so, we take off the Alolan Muk from the team. Um, standing. My little screenshot, basically. That I've got... Uh, Don fan's going to get some damage from the Poison. And now it can be Revenge Killed by pretty much anything on their team right now. In comes the Mien Xiao. So, Mien Xiao can come in. And we can actually um, use this to our advantage a little bit. Because whatever they do to KO us, we can switch in accordingly. So I'm leaning towards going for a Earthquake here just to see if we can. Um, let's see if they go for a U-turn. They go for a knockoff though, which isn't going to KO us. And we get an Earthquake off, which is going to be massive against that Mian Xiao. There we go. 
and Poison does take us out the next turn. Now we know they're locked into knockoff because we know they have Choice Scarf from earlier. We switch through them it. We can use this as an opportunity to get Nine Tails in to get another Aurora Veil, which could be really clutch. So let's get Nine Tails in real quick. See, Nine Tails has already had its item knocked off, so we don't have to worry about the knockoff. They have to switch out here, probably into the Iron Crown. So I get a free Aurora Veil right now, which is fantastic. So they do withdraw the Mian Chao. What are they going to go into, though? Are they going to go into the Iron Crown? Yeah, the Iron Crown is the perfect switch. So I could have made a double there into the Armor Rouge, but I decided against it. I want to get the Aurora Veil up. I think it's going to be really useful. So Aurora Veil comes through. That's going to boost our defense and special defense, which is great. Um, and now we definitely switch out. So the weirdness does disappear. I think we go back into Indeedee here. We may be sacking here, but I think we go back into Indeedee because I'm leaning towards believing... Armor Rouge could be the way forward. So let's go into the Indeedee. Let it go down to attack on Cutter. They could go for a Calm Mind. I doubt it. If they do, they do. Let's get the Psychic Surge up like so. And let's see what they're going to do here. So they go for a... Oh, they withdraw. They make a double. They predicted the I am Indeedee to come in. And they go into Mian Xiao, which is a good play. However, this was a sack play on my half. So I don't really mind them going into Mian Xiao. Um, if anything, like, we could use this as an opportunity to go for, like... So they go for a U-turn, which is going to take out our Ndidi, which is fine. We got the Psychic Terrain up. It's up for another eight turns, which is great. And we get a free switch in with whatever they bring in. So let's see what they go into right now, because everything on their team gets outsped by Armor Rouge, except from the Mian Shao, which is the Pokemon switching out. So I'm like, hmm. Ursa Luna comes in. So let's see what we can do here. I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning towards a Armour Rouge switch or a Glalie switch. Glalie could be cool. Icicle Crash, Earthquake, all that stuff. We could do that. You know, I want, I want Glalie to get some action in this game. I really want it to do something because basically someone asked me to use Glalie and I was like, you know what? Glalie's one of them Pokemon where it's like challenge accepted. So let's go for an Icicle Crash real quick and take out this Ursa Luna. They probably switch out if I have to guess, um, but we could use that to our advantage. So we go for an Icicle Crash, which is going to take out the Ursa Luna, right? Yeah, there we go. We have got an Assault Vest, so we can definitely take a hit from their remaining Pokemon, except from the Mien Xiao, which they probably go into, if I had to guess. Iron Crown. So, we're actually in a very good position with Glalie. Could Glalie work here? Because we're Terra Fire. Do we Terra Fire Fire Blast? Terra Blast? You know what? I think we do. I think we do. We Terra, we terra Fire Terra Blast. And I have the Terra Fire Terra Blast for a variation of different reasons. Uh, mainly to hit over ice types, like a little nine tails, stuff like that, but also to hit stuff like Iron Crown for some stab super effective damage. Um, they go for the Tachyon Cutter, which does nothing because it's resisted and in Aurora Veil. Let's see if Terra Blast can actually take out this. Uh, oh, and Assault Vest, of course. Let's see if Terra Blast can take out this Iron Crown right now, because if it can, that'd be amazing. Doesn't quite take it out. That's fine, though. We can handle that. So. So the Aurora Veil does wear off. We are outsped. Can we live a hit from this thing? A Psy Shock, maybe. That's the real question. So I'm going to go for that Terra Blast once again. Because if we can take this thing out, we're actually in a very good position. So they withdraw the Iron Crown. What's going to take this Terra Blast? Probably anything, really. Mien Xiao, maybe. Mien Xiao comes in. Can Mien Xiao take this at 95% HP? I think it probably can. Well, less than that from the Stealth Rocks. Let's see if Terra Blast is enough to get the KO here. It's a nice and stab Terra Blast. Not quite enough to get the KO, which is unfortunate. But we did a lot of damage to the Iron Crown. We did a lot of damage to this thing. We kind of have to switch out here. So I'm going to go into the Alola Ninetales. I'm going to try and get that Aurora Veil back up. I think that's going to be really useful. So we withdraw the Glalie, which is great. And we're going to go into our nice and powerful Alola Ninetales, which is fantastic. Get that snow up, which is great. It's going to boost our defenses. They go for the CC, which is going to... Two it KOs. Ooh, that's some nice damage through the snow. That's incredible damage. Um, so we are going to lose a little of Nine Tails here, but we will try and get the Aurora Veil up just in case they don't want to... You know, just in case they let me off easy. They, they, they don't know. So Mian Shao does take out a little of Nine Tails, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, we know it's locked into close combat now. So we know what to do here. The, the, the Psychic Terrain is up. We could, we've got a couple of options. We could Shell Smash Blastoise and finish the game. No, we won't finish the game because we haven't got anything for that Hydrapple. 
I think Armor Rouge is the way to go. I really think Armor Rouge is the way to go. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Armor Rouge come through. We expanding force. There's no reason not to. They haven't terrored yet, though. Keep that in mind. They haven't terrored yet. They haven't terrored yet. They withdraw the Mian Shao, which is fair enough. It's still a big threat to our team. They could still win this. And they're going to go into the Iron Crown on the off chance that they live an Expanding Force, which I don't think they do after Stealth Rocks especially. Expanding Force comes through. Boom. Down goes the Iron Crown. So we got that threat out of the way. Now, Amphros is very bulky on the special side. I have no doubt in my mind that it can live an Expanding Force, especially now that the weirdness has disappeared from the field. So what do we do against the Amphros? Mian Shao comes in, though. That thing's going to knock off us into oblivion. No doubt. No doubt in my mind that thing's going to knock off us into oblivion. But you know what's funny? We can live a knockoff and armor ca an expanding forces thing. It will be armor cannon. They might tear a dark knockoff, so I'm going to armor cannon. They knock off straight up. That's fine. We can live that. No problem. It does activate our weak armor, which is fantastic. Boosting our speed. And then we go for an armor cannon. And it activates our weakness policy. I forgot. I forgot. I thought knockoff no, bypasses the uh, weakness policy, but it doesn't, does it? As there we go. We get a boost. Armor cannon comes through. Down goes the Mien Shao, which is fantastic. Oh, Armor Rouge might be finishing this game. As much as I'd love to put Glalie in the thumbnail, it looks like Armor Rouge is, put, is putting in the work right now against this team. Although, looking at their team, they've got Amphros and Hydrapple left. Amphros can live a hit. I'm confident Amphros can live a hit. I'm really confident. They haven't terrored yet. So it's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Get some Stealth Rock Chip. Our best move to go for is Armor Cannon. So that's what I'm going to go for. They may Terror Water. If they Terror Water, that's a good play. They are going to Terrastalize. What are they going to go into, though? It's still a plus two, though. So even if they Terror Water or Rock, Water. I say Terror what, Rock because Amphros actually gets Meteor Beam now. So some people run Terror Rock with Meteor Beam. It's still weak to ground, but it's like pretty cool. So armor cannon comes through. That's going to do a nice bit of chip damage to the uh, Amphros. Oh, that's a good bit of damage. That is good damage right there. That would have actually probably taken out if it didn't terror. And then they get a berry back, which is going to boost their health. So the citrus berry, that's pretty cool. That is pretty nifty. And they go for a terror blast, which is definitely going to take out armor rouge. So I'm actually excited about this game. This game's pretty good. I I'm enjoying this one. This is a good one. There's no hacks. Like, every time I battle Cody, there's always, like, bad hacks. Bad hacks. But, like, now, there's not. So, like, well, let's go to Blastoise first and foremost. So, they're going to expect us to have Ice Beam. But I, my plan here is just to win with Glalie, I think. So, we're going to Shell Shocker. All we have to do is weaken this Amphros. That's all we have to do. So, we'll go for an Earthquake. Should weaken them enough. There we go. We are a physically offensive Blastoise. That doesn't do nearly enough damage. As Thunderbolt is able to nearly take us out. We go for another EQ. Should weaken them to the point where Glalie can come in. There we go. Right, Glalie can definitely finish up this game now. Because they can't terror the Hydrapple. It's all coming down to Glalie. I'm so happy. First game with Glalie. And it's putting in the work. All we have to do is not miss the Icicle Crash against the Hydrapple. I remember I said there's always hacks in my games with uh, Cody. That's the perfect like time for hacks to come through. So let's go for an EQ with the Glalie. Like so. Take it out. There we go. Come on, Glalie. You can do it. I just need you to hit this high icicle crash. I just need you to hit this icicle crash. That's all I need you to do. And if it doesn't KO, I need you to flinch. Hydrample comes in. There we go. Nice and shiny. Get some stones damage, which is great. That's going to add. Don't miss. Don't miss this icicle crash. We don't miss the icicle crash. And that cleanly takes out the hide. Glalie. Glalie. Of all things, Glalie is putting the work. GG, Cody. That was a really fun one. I really enjoyed that one. That was a great battle. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.